What's up guys? It's your girl Kofi and I am back with another video. Guys, I'm trying to be a normal YouTuber. <laughs> Mama said there'd be boys like you tearing my heart in two. Doing what you do. So today, as you could tell by the title, I'm going to be giving you guys a story time. I'm gonna be doing a story time on the time that my Uber driver tried to kidnap me. But before we get into this video, I do need you guys to like and subscribe. Don't forget to comment down some video suggestions in the comments. Also, don't forget to follow me on Instagram, underscore Kobe Butler, if you want to see more me. Oh, guys, don't forget to turn on post notifications so you don't miss any video I upload, all right? And if you do want to shadow, all you have to do is be subscribed to me, like this video, have post notifications on, and then comment when you're done with that in this video and i'll give you a shout out in my next video okay let's just let's just get right into this video all right so it all started me it was me and two of my cousins all right we were at the mall start off day was good we was chilling all of that like we just planned to go home after that and didn't work out like that okay. so we called the uber right first of all he took like 500 years to get here he got lost it seemed like okay it seemed like he didn't know where he was going in the beginning so i'm like all right he's taking forever so he called he called ring, ring, ring. hey who's this oh it's the uber oh you're here where are you oh you're down the street you want us to walk down the street okay so we <laughs> so we walked down the street to meet the uber which is kind of like shouldn't you meet us in front of the mall i mean like that's where we said to pick us up why you have us walking down the street but that's beside the point um so we get there we get in the uber it's a chill ride he starts talking to us and then i'm talking back to him like oh yeah i'm trying to be friendly like you know uber drivers trying to be extra friendly to get that good rating but i was talking back to him he was telling me where he's from how he's from like jamaica or somewhere he just came to the u.s from jamaica or something like that i'm like oh yeah that's cool how old are you la, la, la. he was a nigga lie when i first okay when we got into uber it was dark okay so i barely saw his face but what i did like the image of him that i did see i thought was kind of like you and he was just talking he had, like a really cute accent or whatever and i'm like all right all right um just should be extra friendly you know, not make the car ride all awkward all right so i'm just like how old are you so and so he's like oh i'm 20 I think he said 24 i'm not sure but at the time i was 17 and i was like oh no no i'm 18 like what's up like what's and i feel like i kind of did this to myself because i was being way too friendly and then i lied about my age and i don't know but my cousins are sitting there not talking to him not saying anything they're like kobe shut up up like why are you still talking to him he's weird and yes i did tell from our conversation that he was a little bit weird just a little bit and <laughs> so we kept talking and then we finally got there but he pulled to the side like he didn't pull to the front of my house he pulled to the side of the like, i'm like all right you have to go around because that's the front of the door you have to go around and then he stops, completely stops, and he's just he turns around. And at this point, my cousins are like, yeah, we got to go. So I thought he was just trying to be friendly. And I'm like, oh, you want my snap or something like that? And I gave him my Snapchat or whatever. And my cousin's all right, like, let's go. And he turns around and he's like, so what are you doing today? Like, what are you doing tonight? I'm like, nothing. <laughs> I'm going home. That's why I told you to bring me home. So then he was just like, oh, if you want, we can we can sit right here and talk for a few minutes or something. I can get to know you. And my cousins are like, yeah, nah, we got to go. And I'm sitting there. I'm like, uh, I don't know. But like, he was really older than me and I was 17 at the time. So it's like, I probably shouldn't be doing this. Like, I should be going home. And then he takes it upon his himself to lock the doors <laughs> so at this point we all thought we was gonna die he locked the doors and was like i can ride around we could talk if you want i'm like boy unlock these doors <laughs> S 
so I can get home. I don't know if he had the child lock on or something because I could not open the door. I tried to unlock it. I tried to do all of that. I'm guessing he had the child lock on so we could not open the door. All right. And we're just sitting there. I My cousins were super scared. All right. I, mean, I was kind of scared. I'm like, uh, what did I do? I don't know. He was super weird. Turn around. He was smiling like. And he was like. Yeah, I could drive around. I could bring you to my house. I'm like, I gotta go. <laughs> like, I'm like, I'm trying my hardest to be, I'm trying my hardest to be nice about it. Hi right, guys, I'm sorry. My brother did walk in while I'm doing the video. He knew I was doing the video. He knew what he was doing. He just wanted to be on the camera. But anyway, at that point, I'm sitting there like, Oh my god, like, what did I do? Like, and I'm trying to be super nice about it. I'm trying not to be rude so that he gets mad and just gotta go. Like, you're going to my house. So, I, I was just like, um, yeah, no, not tonight. Um, I gotta go. I'm, I'm actually, um, at my aunt's house. My aunt's waiting for us. But you could Snapchat me if you want. You could Snapchat me if you want. Uh, and I, at the same time, okay, I'm not gonna lie. I was kind of like hesitant i'm like i kind of want to go with him but my cousins were there and i'm like yeah no we gotta go <laughs> and i'm not gonna go by myself but my cousins were 15 14 13 whatever so i'm like yeah no, i gotta be a good influencer you know <laughs> but um so then he finally okay guys for like 10 minutes 10 20 minutes we're sitting in the car and he would not allow me. he's trying his hardest to like get me to come with him and i'm just like yeah no <laughs> like you're weird like all right it's it's one thing to ask somebody out like um can i take you out or can we like talk some more that's different but you become really weird if you have to lock the doors and beg me for 10 20 minutes to talk to you like people like you guys need to just calm down with it like try to be not creepy all right don't try to force it if you force it they're not gonna want you all right and i feel like he was definitely trying to force it and so yeah we're sitting there for 10 20 minutes or whatever um my cousins are at this point they are worried like they think oh my god we're gonna die tonight and i think one of them tried to call my aunt no my aunt called me and i and i didn't answer so i'm just like all right yeah i gotta go um I was like, can you, can you pull around so I can get home? And he didn't. He just ended up unlocking the doors and was like, Snapchat me. I'll text you. Ah, la, 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 la. I'm like, we'll see about that. <laughs> so he ends up going home. And like, as soon as I get in my house, he's already Snapchatting me. Like, what are you doing? I can come pick you up again. You know, I guess he thought like, I had to get my cousins home or whatever so he's like all right she gonna once they get there i can pick you up and me and you can go i'm like mm. Uh, no <laughs> no thank you so yeah he snapchatted me like 10 like five minutes after i get inside like oh i can pick you up tonight oh you should come over tomorrow oh you should I'm like, chill out. Like, aren't you, isn't like Uber, Uber's a job, obviously. So why are you sitting here trying to like kidnap somebody while you're working? Like, you're going to get a really negative review. I mean, I guess not if he killed, if he ends up killing us. I guess we can't give him a review. But <laughs> I guess that would work out for him. He could kidnap us, kill us, and then take my phone and give himself a good review. Was that his plan? That was probably his plan. That was probably his plan. Or maybe I just think like that. Maybe I <laughs> Maybe that's just my way of thinking. I like I feel like he was trying to like kidnap us and then kill us and then take my phone and give himself a good read so everybody else is gonna be like, oh yeah, he cool. But nah, bruh. He kidnapped us. <laughs> but we wouldn't be alive to tell the story. So who's really like He's gonna keep being an Uber driver, bro. But yeah, guys, that was a crazy experience. Um, 
I'm not gonna lie, at one point I was scared for my life. My cousins were scared to begin with. The moment he stopped the car, my cousins were terrified. All right, I got I, I only got scared when he locked the door, and that's when I'm like, mm, gotta go. All right, guys, so that's it for this video. Let me know if you liked it in the comments. Let me know if you want to see another story time from me or whatever. Um, all right, guys, and don't forget to like and subscribe. Comment down some video suggestions in the comments. And don't forget to follow me on Instagram, underscore Kobe Butler, if you want to see more of me. And don't forget to turn on post notifications so you don't miss another video, all right? And if you want a shout out, all you have to do is have post notifications on, like this video, be subscribed, and then comment in this video when you want. I mean, comment in this video done. And I'll give you a shout out in my next video, okay? And that's pretty much it for this video. I'll see you guys next time. You're... Bye! He tryna 69 like Takashi, call him Papi, worth the ASAP, keep me back.